Just in time for Thanksgiving, a fire department dedicated to serving the Copper Country is thankful for the support of the community. With more, here is ABC 10's Thomas Fournier. The Omni Volunteer Fire Department is dedicated to serving citizens in the village and around the Copper Country. Now it was someone else's turn to rescue the department. A generous anonymous donation put the department $30,000 closer to purchasing a new rescue truck. Michael Tofina is the grant administrator for the department. He said the donation was unexpected, but very much appreciated. Approximately one week ago, uh, we were thrilled to receive a $30,000 check in the mail from an anonymous donor dedicated to our rescue truck fund. We are extremely grateful for the donation we received from the anonymous donor, and it's going to go a long way to help us out and get our rescue truck paid for, equipped, and on the road to help the citizens of the Copper Country. Even after the large donation, the department is still $23,000 short of their goal. There is a lot of work necessary to fully equip the truck. This Saturday, Amig's firemen will serve the community in another way, through their annual spaghetti dinner. Tofina said the crew has been working for days prepping the sauce using their highly guarded homemade recipe. Our annual spaghetti dinner, which is the second of our annual fundraisers following the Independence Day celebration, kicks off tomorrow at noon. It is carry out only. We will provide curbside service. Uh, for $10, you get spaghetti, garlic bread, and coleslaw. We've been working on the sauce for several days. Uh, it is our own special recipe. It is homemade, and uh, we're very proud to serve it to, uh, to all our customers. All the proceeds of our upcoming spaghetti dinner will be utilized to fund uh, additional equipment to outfit our rescue truck to ensure it is compliant with uh, state and federal regulations, and we have all the equipment and gear we need uh, to perform our job. The Amik Fire Spaghetti Dinner starts at 12 noon on Saturday. All orders will be carry-out only, but when you pick up dinner, be sure to pick up a 50-50 raffle ticket. The winning ticket will be picked at around 6 p.m. Dafina said the support of residents has made all the difference in the fire department's efforts to keep the community safe. This is Thomas Fournier with ABC 10 and CW5.